Subaru Sleeping with Carson. Safety disclosure is don't do anything that's dangerous. Don't do anything that I've done. Do everything that you want to do the way you want to do it, not the way I did it. Don't get in trouble. Be safe and wear safety protection. Hello and welcome to Subaru Sleeping with Carson. I'd like to start by apologizing. I have not made an episode every month since December of 2020 because it is now October of 2021. But life comes up, issues occur, jobs are changed, excuses are made, blah blah blah. It's all water under the bridge because I'm filming this episode now and you're watching it and I'm excited. As all of my sleeping platforms and ideas evolve, my children continue to grow. So I think the days of sleeping in the car with both of them, so three people total, one adult and two children, I think have passed. But that's okay. I have built other platforms that work great for two people. Uh, this platform has been extremely popular on my channel and works great for two adults. But the fact that the front platforms have to sit on the rear platforms, uh, it doesn't allow for two children or at least one child to sit in the rear seat. It's great for two adults because both people would be sitting in the front seat. Which leads me to this setup right here, which is actually a platform for me, the adult, on the right hand side. And on the left hand side is a drawer, which I've modified to allow one of my children to sleep on top of it with a little flap on the side to make it wider and a little flap on the end to make it longer. My sleeping platform actually folds up into this cube which fits into the cargo space, allowing two of the rear seats pictured here to be available for one of my children to sit in, whereas the drawer slash sleeping platform only takes up the space of that one seat folded down. Santa has come early and he's delivered a workbench. No more balancing boards on chairs and buckets to make a cut with a power tool. Now I have this awesome bench with legs that fold away so it can easily be stored against the wall or a closet. It's got slots in the middle and my clamps fit in perfectly and hold boards so I can make a straight cut. This thing really has been paramount to my builds. I love it. The space I had to work with was where that one seat folds down. So I made some measurements. And then I got my board all clamped down, ready to go with my fancy new table and used my jigsaw to cut what appears to be a very straight line. Um, I tested it out here to make sure I was on the right path, um, folded up the seat and then folded my platform and put it in the cargo area where it will go uh, during transportation when one of my children is sitting in the rear seat. Uh, then I checked out the length of it and realized, you know, it just wasn't quite long enough. So I am adding a little uh, flap that will extend the length of the platform. Um, I'm uh, clamping together here, sizing it up. Um, those two little parts that meet allow it to um, fold out without kind of uh, bowing, even though it's only going to be supporting the, um, the head uh, of one of my children. But it worked out really well. It came together, and with the pad on top of it, you won't feel those hinges at all. Initially, I was just going to use a basket, but that's when I thought, you know, maybe I should make a, um, a drawer. So I started adding a little bit more wood here and there, really making it up as I go along. I did use a little bit higher quality wood here. All I did was um, put a little bead of glue and then uh, use the clamps and these little small nails and just nailed it all together. But it came out really well. These flaps pull out, and that makes it a little wider. And then... Uh, this head part comes out and that makes it a little longer and it fits um, these mattresses I got um, uh, really well for the children. The drawer is extremely long, uh, deep and wide. I have the measurements for it here in uh, just a second. Coming up, I think it turned out to be 44 and a half inches long, 11 and a half inches wide, and 8 and a half inches tall. There were no drawer slides, it's just wood on wood, but it hasn't seemed to give me an issue yet. So we did go on a camping trip. My daughter and I slept in the car and it worked great. She only rolled off of that uh, platform twice onto me, but I was able to kind of shift her back up there. Um, I didn't film that, but you'll have to take my word on it that it worked really well. We're still working on exactly how to pack the car, but overall I think it's going to work for myself and my daughter if, or my son if we want to go camping together in the Subaru Crosstrek. I bought one of those uh, Coleman stoves, which is actually turned out to be really nice, but uh, to make sure it doesn't slide around, I thought I would put a little divider uh, in the drawer as well. So this is the build of me creating the divider. Okay, I obviously have tools, but I never really seem to have the right tools or not enough tools or something, but I used a Dremel and um, a chisel and a hammer and it seemed to work out fine.
all in all, that actually went really well. And the uh, the hammer and the chisel and the Dremel, it all worked out um, great. So now I'm just duplicating this on the other side. And then I'm going to cut out a uh, divider and slide it in and go from there. Yeah, so this went well. I uh, had a little guide to uh, know how wide to cut it, though it was really tight. I did um, use this uh, kind of glue. I busted the tube, so I just had to kind of divvy it out with a little nail from the side of it. But um, it all worked out, and I am seen sliding it in here and cleaning everything up, and the, the, the Coleman stove fits perfectly in there, and I think it all worked out in the end. All right, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pack up the car with the drawer and my platform, but go camping in a solo camping setup situation. I'm gonna leave, it's Friday night, I'm gonna drive to the Brazos Bend State Park, I'm gonna stay overnight, I'm gonna see how that goes and take some pictures in the morning. I hope you enjoy the adventure. All right, loading up the car now, take off the cargo cover, that net, take the seats, um, the headrest off, lay down the seats, obviously the cargo area. I lay down that front seat. I'm not going to um, transport it folded up. I'm going to unfold it. I have a little secondary platform there that it rests on that, that goes over to the center console and then um, it kind of folds out. Uh, there's the drawer. And it fits right in, snug like a glove. Um, the drawer is very long. I am happy with the results and now I'm loading up the car. Since I'll be arriving uh, when it's dark and don't want to, have to do any of this, um, especially because the area I'm going has lots of mosquitoes, I'm going ahead and setting everything up now. I'm tethering it down because it has a tendency to slide around if I don't do that. But um, I think we're ready to go. Other than these uh, mosquito nets I'm putting on now, so again, I won't have to do it when I get there. But I think all in all, it came together well and we're ready to go. Okay. I'm sure I've forgotten a lot of things. Oh man, what did I say it was 6.52? It is late, uh, 8.12, it is, it is 8.12, that's not drive, there we go. It's 8.12, I started at 6.52, uh, there we go, I don't know why it stopped recording again, maybe I can't do Bluetooth music at the same time and it came on bit of a rambling but um, we will I will see you soon in just a little bit all right made it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up the solar shades. First things first, we're going to do, uh, I'm going to lay these out here on the bed. Um, this one is for the back, uh, the back, I'm just going to throw it back there. And these, these are these long, long pointy ones. Um, I made these for the side windows, so they fit on really well. Just going to put them on. Uh, so excited I'm so excited I'm here and there's no mosquitoes in the car that's the best part really absolute best 
part, no mosquitoes in the car. You know, when I initially called one time to make a reservation for the park, I um, I said, yeah, I'll be car camping. And they're like, oh, car camping. Well, that's, that's there's only one place for car camping. And it's like way in the back somewhere, you know, way, way back somewhere in the park <laughs> i don't know i think i i think i drove there at some point it was like the furthest i didn't even know there was a part of the park you just keep winding and winding and winding to some like desolate place that nobody camps anymore and that's like for car parking or something i don't know so this time i thought well you know i'm just gonna rent an rv spot okay so i got the shades um they're up over there and the front and right here. So, all right, bing. Um, so I'm going to put the shade up in the back. In the... A moment to chat. The reason I've stopped here is I wanted to talk about the next scene you're going to see, which is me going from the driver's seat to the sleeping platform. Now, now it's not really that bad. Look, I'm already sitting in it, just get my legs around it, and boom, I'm there. Now there's a much easier way of doing this, and um, I'll show you that here in a previous video using the same platform. Now I'm sleeping in the opposite direction um, with my head uh, in the cargo area instead of the front, but it's very easy to get in and out. Whoop, look, I'm inside. Much easier than what I just showed you, except there are tons of mosquitoes where I am camping tonight and I'm not going to get out of the car and risk one of those little vampires being stuck inside the car with me, eating me while I sleep. So again, really easy to get in, really easy to get out totally different way of doing it but for this night i'm going to be getting in and out from the driver's seat well that's about it so i'm going to climb back into the seat just to show you how easy that is so it's just you just kind of swing your legs around again it's probably much easier uh for someone who's shorter or if there's not a um it's just a just a gnat i'm okay with the gnat um there we go i think i got him um so uh if you didn't have the sunroof um the the roof would be a lot higher right here but even me i mean i know i'm crunched down but it was really easy to slide around and um so i'm gonna slide back into the seat back in the seat and then i'm gonna uh turn on just the auxiliary and i'm going to roll down the back windows Okay, they are down. The car's locked all around. Doors are locked, car's locked. And um, let's listen to the sounds of the forest. It's a forest. Oh, I totally forgot. I had gotten a, um, uh, a screen for the sunroof. So if it was just a little more toasty, um, I got it online and it just has magnets like all the way around and you like unfold it and you set it on the top of the car. I tested it out and it works great. I mean, tested it out as in I put it on the car for a couple of minutes and looked at it and said, wow, that looks good. You know, what I also like about this um, setup is the fact that, um, uh, that for myself at least, I mean, if there was a child with me and this is all folded out. You know, I always think of these random scenarios like, I gotta go, you know, like, <laughs> why would there be that scenario? But if in fact it had to go real quick, you know, it's very easy to fold this up and then and then my, my, my uh, son or daughter could sit right there and then off we go. But the main point I was getting to is, is um, the seat is not taken up. The driver's seat is not taken up by anything. So um, if there was something, I don't know, you know, a monster or um a person or it was raining real bad <laughs> what's that why i keep in these scenarios they're not real i mean i have no idea but if i needed to go it's not like i would have to you know take apart a bunch of stuff or unfold things or m move blocked items and stuff i could literally just kind of swing around like i did and slide into the driver's seat and boom i'm ready to go i mean take off the solar shades and then i'm driving away so i don't even know why i think of all these ridiculous scenarios so I'm gonna climb into the back and start closing my eyes. Boom, just like that. It's fan. 
Check it out. Ooh, yeah. Airflow. That's all you need. I'm going super down. They have a low setting. The low is good. The fans are tough. You know, it's either the low is too low or the high is too high. It's really not that loud, but I don't need it that much. I really just need the low. I just need some sort of air flowing across me if it's not absolutely um, freezing cold. So this, like, it turns all the way around and it has this big clamp. Just airflow. It feels so great. Um, I just uh, I just noticed something. Look look at the fan. Since the fan is on, let's see if I can turn this on. Since the fan is is on this sunroof, it's like I can move it perfectly. So if I want it just like a little closer to me, then I can I can move the uh, the um, the sunroof back and forth. It's like it's like perfect, honestly. Anyway. Um, I'm headed to sleep now. That scenario about the monster, I don't think it would really work. He'd probably just reach through the uh, the screens and get me, so anyway. Uh, well, good night, and I'll see you in the morning. I think it's gonna work. Good morning. It went really well, and, and um, uh, I think this was a huge success. I think in the near future, I'll be able to plan um, better and pack better and and utilize the space in the car better but i think as far as solo camping goes and and just me going out and having a good time and leaving late um after work and and making it somewhere making it to my destination <clears throat> in the middle of the night and not having to set up a tent and not even having to exit the car and just just being able to kind of get back into the sleeping platform and hit the hay um, I, I think it's a complete success, and, and um, if I was at a different destination where I was going to go out and start taking pictures of birds and whatnot early in the morning, I'd be totally set up and ready for that, and um, uh, I'm excited. So it's a success, and I can't wait to uh, the next adventure. All right. So, I got the solar shades off in the front. I'm going to slide back and get the solar shade off the back. It worked. You know, I always uh, kind of struggled with that condensation, the internal condensation that built up after... Um, uh, after uh after i sleep and stuff like that i usually wiped it away but then the but then the inside of the window gets all dirty and it's just a mess but um today i just ran the defrosters for maybe two two minutes or something while i got dressed and got my camera bag and my hat and i'm headed out to see a better view of the sunrise
All right, I just got back from taking pictures of the sunrise, it was great. I got some pictures of some alligators and some birds and just general nature, it was really fun. I consider this this um, experiment of my platform, I, it's a folding out platform, which is great because it fits in the back of the cargo area in case I am using the second row one for picking up, you know, uh, two people, I could go somewhere, uh, theoretically, and I could pick up two people and we could go around and do things and then I could drop them off and, or they could be using, you know, their campsite and we're all just going out in one car that's not totally, you know, filled out with stuff or back seats removed or anything, anything like that. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I just prefer to really be using my car as a day-to-day -day commuter and then be able to throw it together and head out for a one-night camping trip, just like I did today, which was really great. I went out right after work, packed the car up, headed out, got here late, um, you know, around 8.30 or so. Uh, the mosquito netting was up, I rolled down the windows, got got set up and got into the sleeping platform and had my little fan in case it got a little humid and, and slept through the night and it was it was great fun. And then I, I got here, I was the first one into the parking lot. There was nobody else here and I got out and took some pictures when there was just absolutely nobody here, which is great. And I, I don't think I've ever achieved that because I usually drive in, but somebody else beats me here. But now I slept here at the park so I can come out and get to a destination I want to before anybody else and uh, it really worked out so um, I'll uh, put it all this together I hope you enjoyed the video and I promise this time maybe not a video every month but I'm definitely going to try to do more adventures uh, more frequently and I appreciate you watching and and please uh, leave any comments you want and um, I'll work on any builds that uh, uh, that I that I think you might like and we'll go from there